What's going on everybody? Welcome back for another video. Today's topic, what I really wanted to talk about is spring fertilizers or maybe spring fertilizing. If you're anything like me and you like to research products, I know winter time is a time when I kind of take a look at things that I want to try in my lawn on the, on the upcoming year. And then you get your soil test back and it's kind of a slap in the face. It tells you otherwise, you know, you don't need to do all the things that you wanted to do. Here's what I want, you, you know, the message you're getting from the lawn and here's what I need. So what do you do whenever you get your results back and all of a sudden all of the plans that you made for the entire year are now out the window and you got to abide by what your lawn is telling you that it needs. One thing that sticks out like a sore thumb on my soil test is my phosphorus level in, in my lawn is still really high. That goes for the front and the backyard. So fertilizers with phosphorus completely out the window for me again this year so that eliminates a lot of products out there that i either wanted to try or i was going to try in my lawn and i actually wanted to go back to the drawing board and actually go for more of a liquid program this year and so i could control the nitrogen that i'm putting down a little bit more closely since i'm not going to be putting down a whole lot of nitrogen in the spring and if you're somebody who puts down a lot of nitrogen in the fall that's going to be mostly cool season folks like myself you really don't need to go too hog wild with the nitrogen in the spring you've got plenty of nitrogen in the soil in my case i did about a pound and a half last fall so i have more than enough to kind of get me through until we get to the summer so i'm really doing some spoon feeding applications with liquid nitrogen, I'm using UMAX, which is a water-soluble, stabilized urea nitrogen that I'm using mainly when I apply herbicides, um, fungicides, and other things in my lawn. I just add a little bit of UMAX in there at about a tenth of a pound per thousand square feet, and that should be more than enough to kind of give my lawn a little bit of kick, give it a little bit of color. But then I also need to come back and I need to add some potassium. One of the things that I noticed on my soil test is that the sulfur and the potash or potassium in my particular case Case is a little bit low. So while if you're looking at some fertilizer options that only have N and K, there are lots of options out there for you, but you're kind of bound to that analysis, whether that's a 2406 or a 3004 or whatever the case may be. I wanted a little bit more control over the analysis that I was putting down in my lawn. So I decided to do the nitrogen on its own and the potassium on its own. And what I did is I got a 0050 uh, by award, I got this from my local Advanced Turf Solutions rep. You can find a 0050 or like a 0046 or a 0048, usually at a local co-op. You can even find it online in some places. And I decided I wanted to break these applications up and do them on their own. So for the potassium applications, I'm actually going about it at about a half a pound per application. That's usually going to be in the spring. Um, but the potassium is going to be a, a good resource for you to kind of mitigate any stress leading into the, the summer months for about a half a pound uh, in April and then a half a pound in May. Cut that off until September and October, do another half a pound each. So I'm actually getting two pounds of potassium annually out of four applications. And so now this 50 pound bag actually gets me a long way for 50 pounds. I only need to put a half a pound down at a 0050 analysis. That's roughly three pounds of product in my front yard and then three pounds of product in my backyard per application. So I can actually make this bag stretch two or three years depending on how much I want to put down. So for what you pay for a bag of 0050 from Award from Advanced Herb Solutions, it's around $29. That's an incredible value. And then when you look at the price of the UMAX, which is actually a really good urea nitrogen source, that's also about a $30 cost on that bag. And that's also gonna get me another two or three years. So that's a really incredible value for what I'm trying to get done in my lawn. Now that we are finally in the full kind of swing of spring here in the Midwest, at least in Missouri, where I live, we're definitely doing a lot of mowing at this point. We're starting to get that flush growth. I'm looking at my growth potential on the growing degree days, I'm at about a 60% growth potential going into May. That's going to creep up to around 100%. So the expectation for mowing quite frequently is going to be coming up very, very quickly. I'd imagine anybody else that's in the Midwest that's in my situation is probably feeling the same. If you're like me and you really enjoy the mow, this really isn't going to be an issue for you. The 
Should you fertilize in the spring? Well, I would ask, um, what's your grass type? Are you cool season or are you warm season? You warm season guys, most of your applications are going down in the summer. I don't have a warm season lawn, so I'm really not gonna touch on that too much. But for us cool season folks, Fall is the best time to fertilize, and that's really when I put the majority of my fertilizer down because everything that we do now is sort of in preparation for the next step in your lawn care plan. So pre-stress pre conditioning is what I'm doing at the moment. I'm doing that with the sulfate of potash. I'm doing that with my fungicide preventative applications. Now going into fall, that's when I'm gonna apply most of my nitrogen that's gonna carry me in through the spring. And then in the summertime, when it gets really hot and it gets really wet and the microbes are really active, it's really gonna really chew through and start using a lot of the nitrogen and the nutrients that are in the soil, really at the time when you don't want it. So for me, fertilizing in the spring is something that I'm really not going to go too hard and heavy with just because I don't wanna load the soil up and then get a huge flush of growth in the summer when the stress is really hard on the turf and I'm just gonna cause me a lot of problems. So those are my plans going forward for this year. I'm going to be doing a lot of different things, kind of take a few different angles. I've got a lot of products that I wanna talk about throughout the rest of the year. A lot of liquid pro programs, some liquid products, and then also some water solubles that I'm really excited to talk about and kind of show you guys. So if you're new to the channel, one of the things that I uh, have recently done is I've got a low cut Kentucky bluegrass section in the front yard that I'm going to be managing all year and I'm going to be taking you through that process. I have the tall cut fescue here in the backyard that I'm going to be managing. I've got a lot of projects going on here in the backyard due to a lot of things that have happened with major construction projects that we've had back here. So we're on a major recovery plan in the backyard, more of a maintenance plan in the front yard, kind of as we progress into summer with the Kentucky bluegrass. So hopefully you stick around, maybe you learn something. I look forward to seeing some of the comments in the comments section. I love uh, getting some suggestions from people. I love to hearing other people's perspective on kind of what they think, because um, I'm not a professional. I'm constantly learning. I'm constantly trying new things. And that's the whole point of the channel, is to take you guys through that journey to show you what I'm learning how I've progressed, some of the products that I've tried, and maybe my perspective on a couple of different topics that may be popular at any given time. So with that, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and if you stick around, I'll see you in the next one.